I wanna teach you how to build a completely free, completely custom habit track online. I also wanna comment my hair because barbers are closed, so I haven't got my hair cut super long. out of a book like Atomic Habits or something relevant like that, you'll know that you know habit trackers keep a reward system going. It also gives you perspective to look back on your, your progress, kind of see different trends. Like I've used my habit tracker to recognize that Mondays are very strong for me and then it kind of whittles away and then every Monday it just spikes back up. So leveraging that strength is important. I wouldn't know that without my habit tracker. My name is Vic, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. So today I wanna to show you exactly how to build a habit tracker just like mine, uh, completely for free, like I said, not using any external applications that you see on the App Store, but only using the Google Suite. It's a pretty interesting concept I came up with, and I've been using it for over a year now. All of my data, all of my statistics, and all of the habits that I track are actually public, you can go and check it out in the description below. So we're actually gonna jump right into my computer and uh, just get hands on with this. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to forms.new and this is going to create a new Google form. Obviously you need to be logged into your Google account, or your Gmail or G Suite account. So first thing I wanna do, like I wanna title this thing, we're gonna call it Habit Tracker. How we're gonna structure this habit tracker is essentially through data and numbers. So I don't wanna ask the question, have you done it and answer with a yes or a no, because I won't be able to easily track my data with a yes or a no answer. So we're gonna do things a little differently. First off, I'm gonna map out exactly what my habits are gonna be. Um, in this example, now this isn't my regular day, I'm gonna just come up with a few different habits that I suggest you got going on. So, uh, first one would be meditation. Um, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go and we're going to, yes, uh, pick multiple choice option for our answer field. And instead of saying yes, what we're going to do is we're actually just gonna put the number one. Uh, and we will explain why later. So now that we have that framework, um, we're actually not gonna put a number zero for no, we're gonna only put a number one for yes and just keep things super simple. So we'll just duplicate it here using this little uh, duplicate button. And the second one would be workout. So we wanna work out, we wanna meditate. Um, and as you can see, the, the one carries over, <laughs> carry the one. Nerd! And let's get a couple more here. So we'll call it uh, wake up early maybe. And uh, one more uh, right in my journal. So pretty simple and straightforward. I'm just gonna uh, rename the actual form itself by clicking here. It should automatically name itself to whatever you named it here. And once that is done, we're gonna head over to the responses tab and we're gonna click this little green sheets button. This is gonna create a spreadsheet for our habit tracker and it should be titled properly if you did the titling like I just did and you're gonna hit create. So what's gonna happen now is Google just created a sheet that connects entirely with the questions and will automatically update when a new submission comes through on the form. Pretty cool stuff. This can be very useful for many different things. I've used it for a million things in the past, but we're gonna use it to track our habits. So once we're in our habit tracker and we have our sheets made, what we're gonna wanna do is just throw some dummy data in there and just make sure it's working. So we're gonna hit the send button up here, uh, create a link and we'll shorten the link just to make it easier. We'll copy that, uh, open a new tab, paste it, and we'll just view the, we're, we're, we're just gonna view our habit tracker from the, the user interface perspective. This is what you're gonna see every day. Um, let's just put a couple, you know, uh, dummy days in there, just so we have something to work with. Um, just submitting another response. And 
if you know you accidentally click wake up early, you're like, oh man, I didn't actually wake up early. You can just easily refresh the page and it will just wipe everything for you. Um, the reason that I don't have a one and a zero is just it's cleaner. It's much easier to look at. If you had one zero, the page would be double the length or close to that. So it's just much cleaner to do just once. It's the only data you need. So I've run my dummy data through my habit tracker interface. And if I go over to my sheets, you can see that the three days that I inputted are there. Uh, pretty cool. However, forms and sheets uh, don't really work super well together as in creating formulas. What will happen if we create a formula on this main page is that every time you put a new entry in, it's actually going to ignore the formulas that you create. Let me give you just a quick example of this. Um, I will go and I'll make just a sum uh, and I'll add up these and then um, I will go down and you can see I have sum three, three, four. These are just the sums of the numbers here. Basically, if we submit another response, it will create a, a new row entirely and completely ignore our formula. We don't want that to happen. So we have to apply a workaround. It's really cool to have this data because you can start visualizing it and making graphs out of it. Just like in my habit tracker, which you know is up on the screen right now, so that's our goal is to accomplish creating visual cues and visual trends in order to optimize our habits and make the right decisions to make our lives better or uh, adjust for our strengths or our weaknesses. So with our dummy data, we can start to map out some visualizations. First thing I'm going to want to do here is create a new sheet right at the bottom here. Now this second sheet, we're going to rename and call duplicate data. So what we need to do is create what's called a query. And a query will literally duplicate the sheet from the form response tab over to our duplicate data tab. And this is important because we can run formulas on our duplicate data tab and it won't be interrupted. On our duplicate data sheet, we're gonna to go to A2 and we're gonna type equals query open bracket. And we're gonna go over to our forms page while that's still highlighted, our form responses page. And we're going to highlight the B column, right on the B, all the way over to D or however long your habits go for. And we're gonna hit enter. Now what's gonna happen is that as you can see, our data just copied right over. And it actually copied the entire column. So it's gonna go from B to infinity. So we don't have to come back and keep fixing that. It's just gonna work forever. Uh, the next thing that I wanna do essentially is highlight the first row here. Once I have the first row highlighted, I'm gonna click view and I'm gonna freeze one row making this first row completely frozen. It won't move when I go up and down. The reason that I'm doing that is because I want just a total sum of all of that habit happening right there. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to highlight a one, functions, sum, and then I'm just going to highlight the first numbers that I have here. And instead of just five, I'm going to go A3 to, let's go A500. Um, I can't really disrupt the flow of everything. I'll get an error since I have meditation to highlight here. Um, what I wanna do though is capture as much data as I can. 500 days is a lot of days. So this is just a running total of all the times I've meditated. And I'm just gonna drag it across, grabbing the, grabbing the corner here, right across there. So now we have a running total of all the habits that we're currently doing. In the next part of this video, I'm gonna teach you how to set up all the visual elements of this habit tracker. This is where things start really coming alive and I'm really excited to get to that video. So stay tuned for next Friday. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel, uh, give this video a like and let me know what habits you are trying to master.